guys, um, I will be, me and the boys back here, This it is Saturday, and when I tell y'all about Saturdays, it's like 50 something degrees here, it's nice and sunny, but as you see, I was dressed yesterday with cut off sleeves or whatever, and I got this vest on or whatever, and it's called Weekend Suck Here, but anyway, uh, I will be taking the boys along with myself, we'll be going out to Arlington to check out the uh, AT&T Stadium and what they're doing with the decals, the NFL draft, and you know, and et cetera. Just kind of get a look and a feel of what's going on, see what see what they got set up so far. So uh, I won't be talking the whole time. It's a long, it's about 30, 45 minute trip. So I will be, uh, um, you know, I won't be filming the whole drive there, but I just want to uh, let you guys know where we, where we were headed. So, hey, uh, stay tuned. I'll be right back in a minute, all right? Finally here uh, at AT&T Stadium. I'm trying to see, hopefully we don't have to pay for parking or anything. I just want to kind of walk up. There's a Dallas Cowboy Pro Shop in here that I want to kind of take a look at. Uh, but we are here. Uh, I just passed by the Texas Rangers Stadium, which is right ahead. And I, it, it, it's been a year since I've been out here. So I haven't been out here that long. I mean, in a long time, since since last season. And they're already working on the new Texas Rangers Stadium, baseball stadium, so which is uh, unbelievable. And uh, I want to ask somebody. Uh, I don't. He's like he's doing a video too. <laughs> I'm not going to bother him. I think you can at least park and just kind of walk up. I know I can't get access into the stadium, but I at least want to go into the Dallas Cowboy Pro Shop which is right there. And I believe just as a customer, you should have free will just to park. I didn't see any any security or anything, so I'm pretty sure it's okay. Um, this is, man, I have, man, this stadium, they already got the decal up for the, uh, the draft and everything. It is a beautiful structure, man. Uh, I, I never can get used to looking at it. And let's see. If I can find a good parking space. I saw one up here. Let me get one real quick. Sorry, guys. I'm just kind of trying to feel, my, feel myself around because they change so much. Come on, man. Sorry. You don't have to pay to park or anything, do you? No, okay. I, I wanted to go in the pro shop and I was just. Okay, okay. Thanks, man. All right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back in. No, I'm gonna pull up. Hell. All right, guys, I am here. I'm parked. So it's about two weeks before the draft, and I just kind of wanted to get a feel, kind of wanted to get a look and see what they've done um, so far. And uh, let's take a look, guys. Take a closer look. Let's go. Follow me. Hey, let me see. about the wind. It is very, very windy out here. Uh, but I want to get a look. I want to get a look at Tom Landry. Real quick, guys. This is just the immortal Tom Landry statue. I just want to get a closer look. Thomas Wade Landry, Dallas Cowboys head coach, 1960 to 1988. Career record, 270 wins, 178 losses, six ties, Super Bowl champions, 71 and 77. Okay. I just want to look at you guys. All right, guys. In going into the pro shop right now, uh, I don't know if I can take my phone in there. I don't know if I'm allowed to, but um, this is just a closer view inside the stadium. And this is the escalator. 
I guess this is how you get up to the field, if I remember correctly. Um, I don't think I can take my phone in here. But uh, I'll ask somebody before I even <laughs> enter in. But I'll be right back, guys. Beautiful, man. Look at this. Look at all this. Look at all this, man. This is wonderful, guys. Cool, isn't it, Nick? Don't touch it. Look at this, man. These are the hats I saw. Uh, America's team. I thought they had some NFL draft. I think these are NFL draft hats I was looking at. Cowboys blog hat one. The king of hats. All the Cowboy fans. Faithful fans. This is what it's all about, guys. This is what... This is what being a Dallas Cowboy fan is all about. Come on, guys. Wow. Unbelievable, man. This is pretty much where you can go and get what you want because everywhere else they got Texas Rangers stuff up. Beautiful, man. I guess they don't mind me filming in here, which is a good thing. I even got women's paraphernalia in here. Come on. Looks like they got a little bar area where you can go in there and sit down and take a drink and watch the game. Wow. Cowboy crock pots. Man, I need to give me one of those. This way. This way. This is the coolest thing, man. How's it going, man? All right, brother. Uh-uh, I didn't. Okay. Okay. I'm going to check it out, man. Amazing. Look at this, guys. Wow, the triplets. I love you see the triplets, guys? Oh, wow, I love the triplets. Irvin, Eamon, and Eggman. Wow. This is history, guys. That's what it's all about, man. That's history, brother. Look at this, man. Unbelievable. Stadium club. I guess this is where you come and watch the game. and That security in there tight. Can't go in there. <laughs> Unless you're a part of the stadium club, which I'm not. Oh, they got extra stuff. This is what he was talking about, guys. Extra stuff okay. back here in the back. Wow. That's what we're talking about. Uh, yeah. Clocks. Rubber duckies. This is what I'm saying, man. Look at all the things that you can buy and all this money that the, the fans spend. Dedicated fans come here and, and spend money on, you know, kitchenware. All these things, man. And we just need to see results as fans. We need to see, we need to be reimbursed as, as Cowboy fans. And uh, this, is, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Cups, mugs, keychains, little mini helmets. Wow. This is cool right here. This setup right here. I need this in my house. That is too cool, man. Look at Dez, man. Ah, oh, Dez will be missed, guys. 
This will be missed. Don't touch that. Excuse me. Come on. This way. Excuse me. The wall of badges. Don't touch it. Guitars. Wow. Wow. Guitars. How do you feel about the dead situation, though? Honestly, I feel like it sucks. I mean, I feel like it was kind of our fault for not giving him the ball enough. Right. And for any time that we did give him the ball, um, right. he wasn't showing, like, showing, like, proving, you know, that he was an elite receiver. Right. But throughout the years, though, I felt like he's played his heart out for us, and I felt like we should have tried a little bit more to um, wow. keep him to stay, you know, honestly. Okay. How old are you, man? You're my man. 19, man. 19? Okay. Okay. Knowledgeable fan, man. That's good Good words, man. I but appreciate it. I, I feel it, like we should have tried a lot harder, though, because now right. if, I feel like we're kind of... So it wasn't, so it wasn't, it wasn't his fault. It, it really wasn't anybody's fault, but I felt like... Because you got a lot of fans out there that, that say, oh, well, we've got to get rid of Dez, and it's Dez's fault, so... Yeah. I mean, like, just think about it. Um, they only say it just because of previous years. Right. Like, previous years, he played his heart out for us. Just, right. He had one bad year, maybe, and that was it, and then people already want to kind of throw him off. The there road. you go. So. Man, I so appreciate that, dog. Hey, what's your name, man? All right, Robert. All right, Robert. Dallas Cowboy fan, 1980. Check me out, dog. Got gotcha, you, gotcha. All right, brother. Game. Day t shirts that are on sale for three dollars. Wow! But luckily, if they got my size, I'll be good to go. Hey, Junior. You know, you know, when you watch them, they're they, they, they gonna, they gonna draw a thing. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. They might they might shrink in size. They go. <laughs> yeah, that's right, man. I, I'll look through them, man. I don't want to take too much of your time. <laughs> cool, man. Too cool. I wish these were $3. That's too much like right, though. Excuse me, sir. How do you feel about the Dez situation? Yeah, what's that? The Dez Bryant situation. What are you on the Excuse me? Hey? I'm doing a video on, on YouTube. I got a YouTube channel, Dallas Cowboy Fan 1980. All right. I'm just getting everybody's opinion on the Dez Bryant situation. Give me yeah. your opinion, man. You have to. <laughs> get an opinion from a striker. Dez Bryant situation, how do y'all feel about that? <laughs> no comment? Okay. No, Dez Bryant, I think, I think Bryant situation, how do you feel about that? Us. Don't know. <laughs> about that dead situation, sir. I, I think the, the more they pay you, the more you expect it to, to do. Yeah. He, 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 um, and he didn't come up with his expectation. He gave, he gave him all that money. He just didn't, he just didn't produce it. Right, right. I mean, he's not the only one that had to do it. He's not the only one. Not one the one. first or the last. That's right. Sure is. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's all about business, it's all about money. That's, that's it, yeah, man. That's what, yeah. golly, that's that's the business side of the that's NFL the that sucks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot of money involved. Yeah, yeah. Oh. right, right. The things, the things can get out of whack. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, you're right, dog. You you're in the spotlight when you're making yeah. that money. Yeah. So yeah. if you're not. That's the more true. You make, the more you there you go. There you go. <laughs> That's real talk, man. I appreciate it. What about the Dez Bryant situation, man? I, uh, I hate to see him go, man, but you know, it's a better choice. Uh, you know, I think the time for him to change anyway. So, yeah. you know, good luck to Dez on his next season, wherever he be. Right. But, yeah, boy, it's a busy thing. I think it's time to see something different. Okay, that sounds pretty good, man. Yeah, so you think his time was up, really? Yeah, I think his time is up, man. It's, he's still a pretty good receiver. Yeah. I think with his speed not showing up. And I, always, I always thought that Dak's style of play was 
a little bit handicapped to him too. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to put out on Dez. Yeah. I mean, I'm with him with like play calling, the route that they got him running. Coaching. You know, back, yeah, yeah. coaching. So, like, you know, that should have him do, if he, if he ain't got the speed to separate, they should right. give him different routes to have him production. So, so. coaching got a little bit to do with it yeah. too. Okay. All right, man. Hey, I appreciate your time, brother. Thanks, right, man. man. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. How cool is this? Uh-uh, don't cross that line. That is too cool. Look like Dez and somebody. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That is too cool, man. It's like a lot of bunch of lights put together and it's like a projector tile, projector type thingamajig. That is too cool, man. Come on, guys. Man, I wish I could go up there. Oh, another day, man. Another day. Wow. All right, good. Hey, guys. Um, wow. What an experience. It wasn't much, but um, it was enough. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, I, I enjoyed every bit of it. We just went to the pro shop. We just kind of looked around a little bit. Uh, I didn't really see too much of the NFL draft experience. Um it's so windy outside. I couldn't really walk around like I wanted to outside because it is very, very windy. And I got my kids with me and everything, so I don't want them to get sick or what or whatever. But uh, um, the experience I had in there was 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 very good. Uh, next time I will go, I will come back and schedule the tour and get the actual tour. Um, I'll bring my wife and, uh, you know, it'll be all four of us and we'll be able to, to do the tour where, go, where we'll be able to go out on the field and go into presidential suites and, you know, owner's, owner's suites and all that stuff. So, but guys, I want to thank y'all for, for, for watching, tuning in. Uh, I bought a couple of things. I bought a couple of t-shirts. These are game t-shirts from last, from seasons ago, 2014. Uh, I think this was, we played the, um, the Patriots, and these were like three dollars. I guess they were trying to get rid of them. Uh, let's see, week five, yeah, 10, 11, 15. It says it right. If I can, well, you probably can't see it, but anyway. And this one, and I was looking everywhere for like a medium or whatever, or extra medium, but they didn't have it. So, um, the, the, the smallest they had was a large. And this was when we played Detroit, I think this was last. When was this? No, no, this was January 4th, 2015. So uh, I got that. And I got the kids some flashlights and uh, I got my wife some earrings and I got a, a, a couple of decals and um, I got a, um, a magnet to go in the refrigerator, whatever, you know, just a little thing. I wasn't going to spend an arm and a leg in there, but that's all I got, guys, man. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'll catch up with y'all later on. We're doing a round table discussion tonight. So y'all make sure y'all tune in to that. And uh, make sure you stay cowboyed up because you never know what the day is going to bring you. I'm out.